I'm still working with this uh, asymmetrical motor that has four contact points on uh, on the motor. It's a modified Radio Shack 12 volt motor that UFO Politics uh, presented, and it's an old Tesla design, evidently. But uh, fascinating thing to study and uh, play with. And there's four different contact points on this that you can reconfigure as a motor generator as a high speed high amp or low speed low amp there's lots of ways to reconfigure this but I have this connected right now with the low amp setting it runs a little slower but I found out that you can take some energy off of an LED back at this joint point and not affect the amp draw much and I'm running this on 6 volts uh, I found out that 6 volts won't overheat the motor so that's what I've been doing all my testing with is 6 volts but let me show you this. I thought this was rather interesting. Now, granted, an LED doesn't take a whole lot of energy, but uh, it takes some, and it might be flyback that I'm seeing here. I'm not sure, but uh, it's at the connection point where you connect this, uh, all these windings in series. Then you just run through the one set of brushes. So let me turn this on. See, there's my amp draw. I'll let this settle in a second motors running it's under load I've got it loaded down here and I'm gonna take the LED and just tap it right here at the back end Take a look at the meter and take a look at the LED. I granted the meter's dancing all over the place. But it's really not varying that much. I mean, I'm not seeing a consistent change when I add the uh, LED. And I don't know if this is flyback or this is just a, such a small amount of uh, power or what here. But I, th I thought that was quite interesting, so I thought I'd share that uh, with the guys that have this motor up and running. Um, I'm seeing an awful lot of conventional m motor generator dynamic here. Uh, the only thing that I think is really, really cool is you got the whole motor generator all tied up in one motor. <laughs> and I think that's really, really neat. And that was why I wanted to build this. I just thought this was such a neat little thing to have as a desktop item uh, where you had a motor generator configured all in one unit. And then you could play with how you did it. You could make it a strong motor or a weaker motor or make it generate or make it run back into itself. Uh, there was all different ways to configure this. So, anyway, I I, uh, I wanted to build one, and I'm glad I did. Thanks for watching.